Hey, Russell, AKA Bell and Circuit here. This month, it's December. It's Christmas time. I flipped a bunch of samples off of Christmas records I have. Only two in this case, but there were a lot of samples. And a lot, and I do mean a lot, of swelling strings, bells, uh, and then some guitar and ambience off of this indie rock record. So come along. I'll show you how I put it all together. Once again, content warning, lots of string swells, lots of bells. Let's get into it. start with string swells. This bears repeating. There are a lot of them. Next, we introduce the guitar chops. That guitar sample was put into a drum rack and then I played it and came up with this pattern. The next element that comes in is some really dark sounding drums. So I made this riff using the Egoist plugin. I've talked about it before. Um, this isn't a paid endorsement or anything. Uh, I just use it sometimes. It's kind of an interesting thing just to get some inspiration. Uh, if you want to know more about it, let me know. But I took the sort of galloping indie rock drum riff that had a lot of um, sleigh bells in it and just experimented with chopping it up, moving it around. So I exported two different versions from the plugin, the real dark sounding one with a lot of reverb and then the snappier one, which is this. So we layer them together. We're just trying to build the intensity here. And then in a minute, you'll hear the beat that I created with the Ableton's 909 kit. As always, slathered with drum bus. Love that drum bus. Then I introduced this weird looping drone. Kind of clangy. And the other element that comes in here is a chord progression, very bassy, that I made out of a couple of single guitar hits. There's a little uh, sleigh bell in there for you too. So that gets added in with the 909 drums. Then the drums drop out, we get more strings, we get another drone, and we get a looping voice sample. When the drums come back in, we also get a bass line that I also made in Egoist. So that was just playing around with a preset in the plugin. And then I chopped it up, messed around with it, experimented, exported it, chopped it some more, and made it uh, an octave lower. And that's what we get. It's kind of electronic-y, but I think it works. Um, it kind of functions on an almost subliminal level. The next section switches up the strings. I told you there were a lot of strings. There's also a pretty Christmassy vocal sample. I'll be home for Christmas, but it's buried in there and you can't really make it out. It just kind of adds to the ambience. The other couple of elements that we add in here are uh, 
decidedly non Christmassy saxophone. And then some trombone. Next, I bring it down with a spare 909 beat, a guitar progression, and some bell accents. We bring in the sample drums again, sliced and diced sample drums. more strings, some more bells. Now we're in the home stretch. I open up the mix with some epically saccharine string sections, some more bells, and a pretty weird uh, drone with some vocals kind of buried in there as well. And then for the end, we kind of glide out with a drone guitar chord progression and a looping drone that just kind of fades into infinity. So, hope you enjoyed it. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. We'll see you next year. Hang on. Had to turn the heat down. It's really loud.